Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the Midweek Encouragement. Coming to you today from Miss Faye's classroom uh, here on the back hallway and have another great, great psalm to calm today. Uh, thank you for joining me. I pray that you'll open your Bible to Psalm chapter 71, and we'll get right there. Uh, you know, as, as we as we have gone through all of the shelter in place and shelter at home and all of everything else, and we look forward to reopening our church. We've seen part of our city reopen, delays on part, uh, the next parts, and delays and delays. And But isn't it great to know that God's word still stands firm? And so we're looking forward to uh, having our, having our, our worship services reopened on July 5. And uh, so looking forward to seeing you in person on July 5, if you feel comfortable and confident in coming. If you're not comfortable yet, stay home. No one's going to judge you. Uh, you. You build your confidence in the Lord. You build your confidence uh, through your family and you do what is needful and what will work for you, okay? And that will be wonderful. Um, let's read Psalm, out of Psalm 71. We're gonna read the first nine verses, okay? In you, Lord, I've taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me, deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to whom I can always go. Give the command to save me because you're my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. Since, uh, it's because you've been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From my birth, I've relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb, and I will ever praise you. I've become a sign to many people that you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Do not cast me away when I'm old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone and drop down to verse 14 as for me i will always have hope i will praise you more and more what precious words from our heavenly father and uh let's let's go back now and look at the verses one by one when the uh, god god is our hope when the whole world and all that's going on seems completely hopeless, we have confidence that God is still on his throne. And as long as he is in control, we have hope. P.S. There is never a time that God is not in control. Even during a pandemic, even during riots, even during demonstrations, even during, 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 God is always in control. We can always trust him. He can be our confidence day by day, moment by moment, year after year after year after year. We don't have to be afraid. He is there with us. Verse number one, in you, Lord, I've taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. To take refuge in, refuge in God is for him to be our strength, for him to be our hope, for him to be our protection. Him alone and nothing else, not a mask, not gloves, not, a, not, a, 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 not an inoculation, but God alone is our hope. 
in him we can put our trust. Now, does that mean I shouldn't wear a mask? No, no, that's common sense. Does it mean I shouldn't use hand sanitizer? No, that's simply common sense. The key is I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be fearful because I've taken my refuge in my God who has seen me through for all of these years. And you know what? Even with the pandemic, even with the demonstrations, even with all of the messes going on around us, you and I still have the same number of days that we started out with. The same number of days that God gave us before we were even conceived. We can have confidence in that. We can trust in that. In you, Lord, I've taken my refuge. I, you are my strength. You, you give me unity with other people. You give me unity with yourself. You give me completeness in my life. This is the key to our character because we can trust God completely, wholly, and without doubt. We can trust him. Let me never be put to shame because of the stand I have taken for you, okay? Don't let people, don't let people scare you. Don't people let people throw a fear into you. Our confidence is in our God, and he is right there with us. In your righteousness, rescue me, deliver me, turn your ear to me, and save me. Because uh, you be my rock to whom I can always go. Give me the command. I uh, give the command to save me. And God is willing to do that. He's willing to be our strong tower. He's willing to be our fortress, a strong refuge. King James says a habitation where I can always resort to where I can always go, I can always have confidence that God's doors to his fortress of his protection are always, always, always open to us. This is a, this is a fortress which is close at hand where I can always go. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. The door is always open. All we have to do is come in. Deliver me, my God. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. You see, God is able to deliver us from the hand of the wicked, the evil, and the cruel, whether they're human or whether they're viral. We don't have to be afraid. We can trust God. We can move on with our lives for his sake, for his glory. Verse number five, for you've been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. You know, as we get older, our bodies get a little more frail and we tend, we tend sometimes to lose hope in our God. We tend to lose confidence in our hope. When we're watching television, we're listening to the newscast, and we're using, listening to the, the naysayers, and we're listening to the, uh, all of the, the fear mongers, okay? Let's just, let's just call it what it is. It's fear mongering. It's designed to make us too scared to live. And yet then we get afraid to die. God, God's not in on either end of that stick. 
God wants us to have confidence in him. God doesn't want us to fear death because he, the scripture tells us, my days are numbered. I'm not going to die before God is ready for me. Nothing is going to nothing is going to take my life from me until it's God's time. And we can have confidence there. You've been my confidence since my youth. And the faith of our youthfulness should be the same faith that sustains us in our agedness, okay? If we're playing with words. The confidence that we had in God during our youth ought to be the same confidence we have in our God as senior adults. As a matter of fact, it ought to be stronger because we've, had, we've, been, we've been trusting him for more years than young people have. As the psalmist here leans on his staff to support himself during his old age, he still lifts his eyes to heaven and says, you are my hope. You are still my hope. You brought me forth from my mother's womb all those years ago. You've sustained me for all the years since. I will ever praise you. Verse number seven. He says, I've become a sign to many people. Paul says that we're God's epistle. We're God's letter known and read by all men. What kind of sign are people reading in your life today? Are they reading confidence? Are they reading hope? Are they reading, I'm trusting in God? Or are they reading fear, anxiety, doubt? What kind of sermon are you preaching by your life, okay? You are my strong refuge. That's what our signboard should read to our neighbors, to our family, to the people around us. I've become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. You are still my hope. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. God, thank you. Thank you that I don't have to live fearfully. I can have confidence in you that you're going to protect me, that you're going to sustain me. You're going to see me through this, regardless whether or not I get the virus. Now, do I want the coronavirus? No, absolutely not. But you know, for all of these weeks, for these months, I've gone where God has sent me. I haven't gone where God has said no. And I'm still as healthy as you are. Why? Because God is my confidence. God is my hope. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring God's glory all day long, loudly, publicly, and with great delight. When I, when I went to Lowe's yesterday to gather some more supplies for here at church, I was able to, to share with the cashier that just to remind her, no one ever, ever, ever loved her like Jesus loved her. Even in the middle of the pandemic, in the middle of all the fear, my mouth was filled with God's praise. I was trying to be a signboard to that lady 
she was obviously having a hard, hard day. And when I reminded her about God's love, she smiled and said, I needed that. You're right. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. God wants us to praise him day by day, our mouths to be filled with his praise constantly, all day long. Do not cast me away when I'm old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. We don't have to really be worried about that, do we? Because God promised in Hebrews 13, 5, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. You can have confidence in God. You can trust in his watch care every day. Dropping down to verse 14. As for me, I will always have hope. Going back to verse 5. You're, you're my hope. You're still my hope. I will always have hope. And I will praise you more and more and more. As long as we're alive, we can have hope in God. As long as we're alive, we can praise God day by day, moment by moment. We can trust him because he is still our hope. I will praise you more and more. As long as God is in control, we can have hope. And P.S., there's never a time when God is not in control. May I pray for you? Our dear, gracious Heavenly Father, how our hearts rejoice in you and your gracious goodness. Thank you for being our strong refuge, our rock our fortress. Thank you, Lord, that from our youth, you've been our confidence. You've been our reliable king. Our mouths are filled with your praise. God, don't make that a wish so. Don't make that a wish for. Make that a no so. Make that real in our lives. Thank you for watching over us during the pandemic. Please continue to protect us from wicked, cruel, and evil, whether it's human or whether it's viral, whether we can see it or whether we can't. May we live for you in such a way that pe people will see us as a signboard pointing to you as our strong refuge, as a signboard that you want to be their strong refuge if they will just call out to you. We praise you, dear Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. Thanks again for joining us today. Have a great and godly day.